Yo, what is going on guys? Crypto Vibes here, also known as Crypto, bringing you guys another video. Today guys, today, I'll be going over my week three team builder and matchup in the PSA. And um, we are playing Kyle. Uh, we're both currently sitting 1-1, should be a pretty solid matchup overall. And uh, you guys can go ahead and see both the teams, but I'll go ahead and go over Kyle's for um, more in the depth. So, anyways, he's got the Mega Latios, the Uivo, Scizor, Thunderous Therian, has a Z-User. Porygon 2 for Alligator, Floridus, Sandslash, Torkoal, Napoleon, and Roselia. Now, very offensive team. Uh, he's got the Megalodios and Thunderous Theory, which pressure my team a lot this week. Uh, as well as the Scizor, I gotta be careful from that thing just you turning over and over. Especially like it's a choice banded set, which can be pretty devastating to my team. Um, the for Alligator can be annoying if it gets set up. I think I have a couple ways to prevent that, which is okay. Um, something like the Torkoal, I think, is definitely going to come. It's a pretty good wall to a couple of my Pokemon that I think would be pretty decent threats to his team if you didn't bring the Torkoal. And um, he's got the Empoleon down there. He's got the double water Empoleon uh, for Alligator. That could be a way he wants to, to uh, deal with my Darmanitan, possibly. As um, Choice Scarf Darmanitan cannot take out most sets of um, Empoleon with Flare Blitz if, it's, if they're running enough bulk for it, basically. Um... And Thunder's Theory, yeah, that thing's going to be the biggest problem on against my team. I really don't have a good answer for it on my team in total. Like, I have two ground types, but uh, it's just hard to deal with it overall, I guess, if it gets set up or behind a sub or any of that. So, uh, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get into the team we're bringing. Uh, the first one we're going to talk about is the Roserade on our team. we got Envy bringing it back. Um, we're bringing an offensive set of Life Orb again uh, with enough speed to, I believe, outspeed a... A for alligator, yeah, max speed jolly for alligator. So if you decide to bring that, which I don't think you'd bring um, max speed jolly, uh, but you could. So I mean, just enough speed for this is fun. Uh, and then we're running sludge bomb, leaf storm, hidden power rock, and weather ball. Uh, weather ball is just there in case the Torkoal um, sets up the sun force, obviously. And um, the Torkoal is going to get knocked up by HP rock. That's the, I mean that's the plan at least. And um, if we can knock out the Torgo with HP Rock, the Scizor pretty much knows it can come in for free on us. And maybe we can catch him off guard with the Weather Ball. Because I'm not expecting a Bullet Punch to come out. I expect like a Choice Banded U-Turn. So I'd be able to hit him, hit the Scizor first. So I'm expecting maybe to get a few surprise kills with the Rose Raid would be really nice here. If he doesn't bring the Torkoal, then Weather Ball is essentially useless on here. Uh, which is unfortunate, but the other three coverage moves should be able to hit his team fairly well. And um, yeah, that's going to be Rosary right there. I uh, really expect a lot out of this Pokemon. Maybe to pick up two kills or something. Kind of open gaps for the rest of my team this week. But anyways, we're going to talk about the next Pokemon. We have um, Celesteela right here. Uh, this Pokemon is definitely... Um, if we can break down this team, it can put in some work for sure. Uh, now he does have a few things like the Porygon 2 and the Empoleon, which can take this on pretty decently. I need to break those make sure I can beat those down pretty nicely. And um, yeah... We're running enough speed after an Autonomize. I believe we outspeed a, um, might just be a Thunderous max speed or Weavile max speed. It's one of those two. It's been a while since I've um, built this team, guys, so not for sure on that. But it was running off enough, enough special attack to be able to, I think it's Oko the Scizor for sure, if it's offensive. That's the plan there. And then we're packing the Z um, Stone Edge to be able to ensure we get a kill on the Thunderous after we have an Autonomize up, which is nice because I, that thing's a threat. I don't like it. <laughs> And um, if we can get rid of it, that'd be great. But anyways, that's going to be our Cell Steel set. I'm running Adamant Nature. Should be able to hit pretty hard. I'm running a lot of enough spe our special attack, like I said, for the Scizor. Anyways, getting into our next mod, we have the Darmanitan here. Uh, Twist Scarf set with Flare Blitz, you turn Toxic and Rock Slide. Uh, didn't really need a fourth move, so I just threw Toxic on there. And then Rock Slide, I don't think I'll necessarily be clicking all that much. Uh, Flare Blitz and you turn mostly, if I can play this thing properly. Now, I'm um, running Adamant this week because uh, Adamant Scarf... Basically, Adamant... If we run Jolly, if he runs any Scarfers on his team, basically, I think they're going to be faster than Darmanitan anyways. So I'm just going to run Adamant Scarf this week, as it can outspeed most of his defensive core, like the Empoleon, the Florges. Um, it can still outspeed the Feraligator, which is nice, and stuff like that. Feraligator at plus one, which is nice. And um, Flare Blitz can definitely put a toll onto his team if I play it right, like I was saying. Uh, you turn there, I need to be clicking that most of the time, though. Uh, but anyways, that's going to be the team. Uh... Or not the t <laughs> I'm sorry. We're going to go into our next pick, our next mod I'm bringing. Uh, that's Suicune. We've got General coming back um, after a strong week two matchup. Picking up four kills. So let's see if we can repeat that. 
Uh, but anyways, we're packing a defensive set this time. Probably not going to be uh, doing as much uh, killing this time. But Rocky Helmet, fully max defense. I didn't really have a specific EV spread for it this week. I just wanted to be able to take on the Scizor as best as possible. And as well as the Weavile. The Weavile was a pretty big threat if I did not bring this Pokemon. Uh, so we're bringing Scald, Toxic, Roar, and Wrath. Basically, Roar is there. If the Thunderous is on this, in this, or in against our Suicune at any time, even if I know it's just going to click Thunderbolt, or like, I'm not, no, it's going to click Thunderbolt, but even if I feel like it's going to click Thunderbolt, I want to click Roar or Toxic, depending on how low it is, just because I don't want that thing setting up. I need my Darmanitan or, um, uh, my Darmanitan or my Celesteela to at least be able to take it on a little bit better, but if it doesn't set up, obviously, so... I'm going to be rock and roar there. And then rest is so I can rest off hits from the scissor potentially if I ever get the chance to, which I doubt I'll be able to. But Rocky Helmet's there, obviously, to chip down on things like the scissor and the Feraligator. So that's nice there. And the Weavile. So that's nice there for Suicune. Pretty defensive Mon, obviously, this week. Pretty uh, crucial to take hits for the team. So And chipping down things for Celesteel, which is essentially nice. Coming to the next one, we have our Assault Best Licky Licky for the second time in a row, I think. We brought some Licky Licky all three weeks so far, so it's been putting in pretty good work. As um, we're packing the Fire Punch, Dragon Tail, Explosion, and Earthquake. Now, you're thinking Explosion? What the hell? Uh, basically, it is a... Um, it's so it doesn't allow the... Say the Thunderous is up against the Licky Licky and it wants a Nasty Plot up. I can... Explosion, even... I don't know if it kills with the spread I'm bringing. I think it kills. I'm pretty sure Explosion kills, but... If he's packing some bulk, at least we can get out of there, get damage on it. After a Nasty Plot from the Thunderous, I'm thinking he'll be back in Nasty Plot, not... Um, uh, not... Agility because he kind of needs the damage on my team. I kind of needs the power from Nasty Plot, so that'll be that. And if I can Dragon Tail just to phase out a potential Mega Latios, uh, the explosion is nice too. Against that, obviously, it does like 79 to 90 some, I believe. So after Rocks, we could have a potential chance to knock it out. And Fire Punch hits the Scizor, as well as um, Earthquake can hit the Feraligator and the Torkoal, which I expect to bring. Uh, so kind of just a weird move uh, move pull overall. I believe this the specific EV spread is meant mainly for special defense and uh, HP So we can take a plus two gigavolt havoc from full from the thunderous and either fire off an explosion or a, Well, yeah, probably just an explosion at that point to knock it out from most ranges or for most sets of thunderous uh, But yeah, let's give me the licky licky running enough speed. This is a ton of speed in licky licky um, I believe this is enough speed to out a oh yeah, yeah I uh, checked in on his replay from week two and he bought he brought a um, no invested I'm pretty sure he had a no, non invested scissor with um, choice band because I saw like more point mandibuzz just outsped him so I was just assuming possibly he was running no speed on a scissor he could have been running some but I'm running enough to outspeed a non invested choice banded scissor which I could expect this week to bring he might bring. Uh, but yeah, so we can get a fire punch off there. It does like 60 to 70 some percent. So if it's ever chipped down, we can get a nice hit off there. And uh, yeah, that's going to be Licky Licky. Getting into our next one, we have Mega Dynancy, our last one on the team. So Mega Dynancy, like usual, just has a pretty fair, a pretty decent matchup against this team. Um, being able to outspeed a Thunderous, barring its Choice Scarfed. Um, definitely the Scizor I don't want to take a bullet punch from. I'm pretty sure I just die, especially if he's banded. So um, the only reason I'm hitting Power Fire there is for if he wants to switch hard into his Mega Scizor. Which I might have to make a play on later in the game. Power Gym hits this team relatively hard. Uh, Porygon 2 is one mon that could take this mon on pretty decently. So I'm packing in Toxic right there. Um, and then Polyon, now I look at my team, is a little bit more of a problem than I probably should have prepared for. So that's one mon that will be a little bit interesting to deal with as long as, or as much as we go. So uh, going to go ahead and get into the battle, boys. Let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, but anyways... As you guys can see, he is bringing the Thunderous Theory, the Porygon 2, Feraligatr, Scizor, Empoleon, and Mega Latios. So, no Torkoal, which is kind of annoying because I was hoping Roserid could, you know, scrape off a couple kills that way and potentially put in some work there. Um, but that's alright, that's alright. We'll go ahead and get into it. The music is already off. Put it on normal speed. Um, yeah. So, uh, basically, my plan is here. I'm going to lead with Darmanitan. has a pretty fair matchup against the majority of his team as, um... You can see what he's going to decide to lead off with. He's going to lead with his Empoleon. Now, right here was... <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, basically. Um, I thought he would just play it safe, go for the Stealth Rocks. Well, I mean, not relatively safe, but go for the Stealth Rocks. Mainly because it's just... It's pretty nice to get the Rocks up against my squad. Um, I don't know. I figured... But that's it. So I just went for the Flare Blitz here. So Because it took this thing very low, if not killed it, on the Calyx. So I figured I could just throw off a Flare Blitz. And, you know, just 
and get him, kill him with the second one and just put him work right there. But Sarmantian served a lot more purpose than that this game. And I'm going to go for the Flare Blitz here, as you can see, and bring him down to 3%. As he's just going to stay in and go for the Surf, which uh, definitely was a solid play by him. All he had to really do was stay and go for that Surf. Um, because it hit whatever came in. And if Suicune came in, for example, to take a hit, he could still get Stealth Rocks up on that. So that was fair. If the Rose Red came in, he could still get Stealth Rocks up on that. And there's nothing else I really wanted to switch in that could offensively beat this thing. So Stealth Rocks wasn't really the play there. So definitely made a solid play there by t knocking out my Darmanitan with the Surf there. And he's living on three. So coming into the next mod, we're going to bring Rose Raid on in. And we can basically finish him off with anything. I'm just going to throw the Weather Ball off right there. Um, mainly because... I didn't want to show my hidden power right away. Uh, I wanted to make sure the scissor didn't want to come in right away if he did decide to bring that in. But if he still did, it'd be fine. I'd, if he brought Thunderous in, I'd still have the hidden power rock, which can knock it out, which is nice. So we knock out the impulse in there with Roserade, which is pretty cool. And he's going to go ahead and bring in the Latios, the Mega Latios. And you can see I'm just going to go ahead and switch out right here into my Licky Licky, which um, is fair because I can take this thing on pretty decently. As he's just going to go for the Mega and set up a Calm Mind. Now, turn obviously I switched right into my Licky Licky here. So I'm going to go for the Dragon Tail right here. As Explosion does not knock this thing out from full. So I want to get this thing phased out as soon as possible. And um, yeah, he's going to go for another one. And Dragon Tail is going to be able to knock him out there. Or not knock him out, but force him out right there into the Scissor. Which is a little unfortunate. But I'm just going to go hard into my um, Suicune right here. Which is fair for me because I Rocky Helmet, I can kind of scout out what the damage is. He gets a crit there on the U-turn, which definitely means he is not choice banded. So probably, a, we didn't really see leftovers or anything because we couldn't. But he's going to get a uh, switch into his Thunderous here, which is obviously problematic. And um, I'm going to switch hard into my Licky Licky at this point. Which can take on a plus 2 Gigable Havoc, which I expect him to go for as he shows the Substitute, which is definitely a problem. Now he's going to go for the Nasty Plot. I calc the damage on a non-invested, or non-defensive or HP invested Thunderous, which Fire Punch could break his sub. So, um, yeah, as you can see, it does not, as he's packing enough defense, it looks like, for that. And now he's behind the sub, which is really unfortunate here with a um, Nasty Plot up. Now, right here, probably, I don't remember exactly what I prepped for. I think I expected him to go for um, the Substitute again. I think I, or the Z, he actually goes straight for the Z-move, so I'm going to break his sub with the Fire Punch here. As, um, uh, yeah, I'm going to break his sub right here with the Fire Punch on the next one. He's going to bring me down very low, as I said, I could live that. Now, I expect him to substitute again. I am just going to explode into op to break his sub and um, get a free switch into something else that can take this thing on better. Which is unfortunate. That Licky Licky had to go down like that, but it is what it is. So, Licky Licky is down. As Thunderous is still in with plus two. I'm going to bring in my Diancy is basically my only switch at this point. Um, so, he's going to bring in basically what I thought would be the poor gun too, but... I had the power, basically power gym right here just in case he stayed in. Didn't want to risk losing the game fully right there. So right here, I definitely should have clicked Toxic. The reason I clicked power gym again is um, I figured he might try to make a really aggressive play doubling back into his Thunderous on like a switch to my Celesteela or just any like kind of switch at all. But because some Thunderous can beat the rest of my team pretty easily outside of Tin Power Rock Rose Red. Um, so I'm just going to power gym again there. Wicked him. He's going to go for the recover, which is fair. And um, I believe I go for another power gem, just trying to do the same thing right here as he's going to show the gravity, which is very interesting. I guess for my Celesteel, if you had anything in the back for it. But I'm going to bring in Celesteel right here, which definitely isn't the proper play at the time because I cannot take this thing on at all. Like, offensively, I don't really get my the point of me doing this, to be honest now. He just shows the Zap Cannon, which is really scary because now Mega Dynasty, if it gets paralyzed, Thunderous can win for sure at this point. Uh, so if he lands his Zapkin on my Diancy, it's pretty much over. I pulled the switch back into my Diancy, I sh or not my Diancy, but my Roserade. He's going to miss his Zap Cannon right here, which is pretty funny. And um, I'm going to go for the Sludge Bomb, trying to snag a Poison on this thing. As he's going to show the Blizzard, and it's going to be able to knock me out. And so Roserade is down. Uh, right here, I believe I go into my Diancy again, as I need to land a Toxic on this thing. As I throw the Toxic off, he's going to go for the Zap Cannon. And, or he goes for the Recover next, my bad. And he's going to recover that off. And on the next turn, he sh I go for the Power Gem just to try to chip him down a little bit more. I try to chip him down to the point where Celesteela can win or set up and beat this thing. So I'm going to go for one more Power Gem as he goes for the Recover or the Zap Cannon, I believe. So that means this is fully paralyzed, cannot take on the Thunderous. Uh, Mega Nancy is essentially useless to beat the Thunderous, which is unfortunate. Um, so now, at this point, I am going to pull a switch into my Celesteela, basically banking on him missing the Zap Cannon, so I can set up an Autonomize, hope he misses again, or he would die to Poison, so Celesteela can maybe pull off some kind of win here, 
but I think in the back he still had the um, Mega Latios, which could take this on, uh, even with a plus two speed. I don't don't think um, my Z Stone Edge would on about sixty to seventy some, and then I would have had to hope to knock him out. But if he had to recover a Roost on that or whatever, he could have beat my Celesteel one v one, I believe. But Porygon two is going to die to the to toxic damage from the Mega Deoxy. He's going to bring in his Thunderous right here. He can basically clean up from this point, as um, Celesteel is going to go down. Uh, Mega Deoxy is going to come back in, basically just stacking off at this point. As I'm going to go down there, and Suicune is last but not least. And um, Gravity's going to return back to normal, and Suicune's going to come out. And Suicune being the boss, it is, <laughs> lives this Thunderbolt, surprisingly. And um, with no special defense investment, we're going to get a crit on top of that, which is pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool there, as Suicune will make the difference a little bit better for me. And um, Suicune will go down to the um dragon from the dragon pulse from the mega Latios. so overall gg kyle played a good game he brought a very heat pork on two set which turned out to put him work against my magnancy and my celestia to my win cons towards the end of the game and um like i said i played the darmanitan very poor at the beginning should have just you turned out it would have put in a range of flare blitz from the next time if i want to bring it in on the empoleon and even if you did get rocks up it wasn't the biggest deal uh i was guess i was nervous about the licky licky getting chipped down any which way because plus two thunderous could just knock it out from that point and i wanted to get an explosion off on either the thunderous or the megalodios which either would have been nice but like i said i'd use explosion on a substitute which was a good bring on this part if i did pack like an ice punch or something over a fire punch i guess that could have been better for me as he wouldn't be behind a sub and i could have exploded um, on him trying to knock my Licky Licky out, essentially. So, overall, good game. We're going to move to 1 and 2 with a minus 3. Get a minus 3 from that game, so we're sitting at minus 1, I believe. Yeah, we're sitting at minus 1 right currently. And I think we're 6th in the division after week 3. So, that's going to be it there, guys. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you're new. I really would appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. And um, be sure to bring you guys more content like this if you're enjoying it. Peace.